Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're keeping safe and well during these very strange, stressful times. But um, I thought I'd make a video today to talk to you about running. So it was recently announced that we can only leave our houses in the UK for very essential reasons, one of them being one form of exercise a day. And this has to be kind of like a run, walk or cycle. Obviously you can't meet up with friends to play football or tennis or any other sort of sport. So I just thought there's going to be a lot of people out there who have been very used to being active in a particular sport. Um, and maybe they train several times a week for that one sport. And now suddenly they can't do the sport they love. Or maybe a lot of people are thinking that this time in isolation is a good time to get a bit healthier and do a bit more exercise. And so I thought I'd talk to people about how to take up running, especially if you're like a big complete beginner or even if you have a bit of experience how to kind of get into it and really utilise that one opportunity a day to go and do some exercise. Obviously it's fine to walk or cycle if you prefer these options but yeah I just thought I'd talk about running and how to get going with it if it's something that you want to do to keep yourself healthy and active during this time in isolation. So my first tip is to make it easy for yourself to go running. It's so easy in the morning if you're ready to go for a run to just think of lots of excuses why you shouldn't go. And actually there's quite a lot of barriers you have to overcome to get yourself actually out of the house and running on the streets. So things that might be useful to do is to lay your clothes out the night before so that when you do get up and it's time to get changed, your running clothes are all ready for you, you just have to put them on. So there's not even the added hurdle of having to look in your wardrobe and your drawers for your clothes. They're all just ready for you and it will remind you, yeah, today is the day I'm running, I've, I've made a promise to myself I'm going and it will get you out of the house. Once you're dressed and in that running gear, there's no backing out and it's very hard then to get back changed again into other clothes and to not go. So I think getting into your running clothes as quick as possible will really help you get going. Similarly, make sure you drink water and have a light breakfast because if you're just trying to run on a complete empty stomach first thing in the morning, the likelihood is um, you're gonna get really tired quickly and you're gonna wanna come back, you might get a bit lightheaded. So drink some water and have a light breakfast, but not, but don't have too much food before going out, otherwise it makes you feel very sluggish and you can get a bit of a sort of tummy ache. So yeah, find the fine line of eating, allowing a sort of relatively long gap, maybe at least half an hour up to an hour between eating and running and then you might be at your optimum to go. So now if you're new to running my tip is to start very easy and slowly because when you first start running obviously you're all fresh and ready to go it's so easy to sprint off and even I do it being quite an experienced runner it's so discouraging if you start and you're feeling brilliant and you're all great and you're going fast and then suddenly it hits you that you're finding it really hard and then you're really out of breath, really hot, really tired. So just start at a very easy pace if you're even going to start running straight away at all. I would suggest if you haven't run in a long time especially, just do a walk like to the end of your road, just start with a brisk walk to get your muscles warmed up and get you ready to start running and then just just start with a very very slow jog and if you are feeling good after maybe five minutes you could up the pace a little bit but you don't want to push yourself too early on if you're a completely new beginner it might be good to do something like the couch to 5k program so you're alternating between walking and running so don't be scared to walk it's better to just jog really slowly for a few minutes and then walk for a few minutes while you sort of recover and then run again. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. At the end of the day, it's just exercise. It's getting you out of the house. It's getting the fresh air and the sunlight on your face. And that's the most important thing. So don't worry if you're not running continuously the whole time. Walking is absolutely fine. And if it's going to help you to stay motivated and stay out a bit longer and work harder on becoming more of a runner, then that's gonna be really beneficial. Another thing I would suggest is to wear the right clothes. Now, when you get up in the morning and it's quite cold, it's easy to sort of put like a big hoodie on or something because you think the air outside is gonna be cold, and it is, but you will very quickly warm up, especially if, if you're continuously running and you're not stopping for breaks or walks. Um, you, I do find that you get really, really hot. I basically always run in short sleeves unless it's like winter or like night or sort of evening night time then I would wear very lightweight long sleeve top just to give me that sort of shelter but not to kind of weigh me down and to get me too hot and sweaty because there's nothing worse than 
being halfway around your running route and then just being really, really hot. And then there's nothing you can do with the clothes unless you can tie them around your waist, I guess. But I think it's best to go out and starting maybe very slightly cold and then to warm up than it is to go out being really nice and warm and then just overheating. And again, it's all about maintaining the motivation. Are you gonna wanna keep running if you're really tired out, if you're really, really hot and sweaty? Probably less likely you're gonna wanna carry on. If you're feeling like you're at a good temperature and a good pace, you're more likely to want to carry on. My next tip is sort of what I've already alluded to already. So instead of thinking of going out for a run as like a training session or like a hard run that like, is gonna destroy you, just think of it as some time outside. So if you do a bit of running, that's great. If you end up walking a lot, it doesn't really matter. Like I said before, you want to enjoy the sunshine while it's here, you want to enjoy the fresh air, you want to enjoy just moving around, seeing nature. Don't put pressure on yourself that you've got to do a really like fast paced long run because you don't. Another thing I'd say about getting really hot and sweaty, like it feels horrible at the time but it just really makes your shower feel so good afterwards. So like don't worry if you are like a big mess and you're all sweaty and your hair's greasy, that's how I often go out running but it just doesn't matter because when I get back the shower I have is then like so rewarding and really nice. I would also suggest listening to music or anything you sort of want to listen to like a podcast or an audiobook or whatever. Just have something playing in your head especially if you're quite new to running and and you don't sort of like the sound of your, you getting out of breath, um, then just have that to distract you. I think it's really nice. And music especially it can help to keep you sort of really upbeat and like hyped up as you're going. If you have like really sort of um, songs with like a good beat and like fast, happy tunes, I think they're really helpful. Um, if you are running regularly, you might want to invest in some kind of running watch. I have a Fitbit, um, but there's loads of other running watches out there or even just to find a way to track your distance and to work out your pace because it's really nice to be able to then work on that so if say the first day you ran a mile then in a few days time you could try and run a mile and a half and like just trying to kind of build on on it can be really motivating because if you're just doing the same running route every day and you're not really improving it can get a bit like monotonous and on the same tone of not making it very monotonous to go out running I would suggest doing some sort of different kinds of running. So obviously the the most common thing everyone does is just go out for a jog. So just a few miles, just jogging at the same pace. But if you're finding this is getting really boring, you can experiment with other kind of methods of like running training. You can look these up online. So things like fart leg training where you run fast for a certain distance and then you sort of jog and recover for the next bit of distance and then you alternate and then so you speed up again and slow down again just to keep it more sort of dynamic and interesting similarly you could find like a local hill and just do some like runs up and down the hill so like sprinting up and then jogging back down or walking back down and just do a few of them um because I feel like that could actually be more fun than just like running along a flat path. Yeah, and finally just try and enjoy it. Even though you might not enjoy the running part itself, I think the feeling of accomplishment when you get back is always something I enjoy. And actually for the rest of the day, I feel really like proud and happy that I went for a run. So if nothing else, hopefully that feeling will give you a lot of benefits. Because um, running is as much a mental exercise as it is a physical exercise in that it pushes you mentally but it also rewards you mentally so yeah thanks for watching this video i hope you're managing to find enjoyment during your isolation and really are trying to use this one form of exercise a day allowance that we do have because i mean you just don't know what's going to happen it might be that that's completely taken away from us and we can't go out the house at all except for essential like food shopping so make the most of it while you can and stay safe bye